In this problem we've got a reservoir filled to 3 metres and we've got a gate retaining the water from an outlet channel. The gate is 0.75 metres high and 0.75 metres wide and the depth of water in the reservoir is 3 metres. And what we're asking in this problem is what force P do we need to apply to the base of this gate to keep it shut at this water level. So what we've got going on here is we've got a force F acting on the gate as a result of all of the water behind the gate and that force is acting at a certain location L dash. So the first thing we need to do in this problem is work out the total force on the gate and where it acts. So the total force on the gate F is going to be the density of water times gravity times by the area of the gate times by the centroid of the gate. The point where that force acts L dash is going to be our second moment of area of the gate over the area of the gate times the centroid of the gate added to the centroid of the gate and our second moment of area for our gate which is a rectangle is going to be equal to the width of the gate times the height of the gate cubed over 12. So those are the three equations that we need to solve this problem. So firstly what's the total force on the gate? Well to work that out the two things we need are the area of the gate and the centroid of the gate. So the area of the gate is just going to be 0 0.75 times 0 0.75 so it's height times its width and that gives us an area of the gate of 0 0.5625 meters squared. The centroid of the gate is going to be the point from the water surface to the center of the gate so that it's going to be this length here from the very centre of the gate all the way up to the water of surface and we'll call that L bar. So we're not given L bar but we can work it out from what we have been given. So we know that the total height of water from the bed is 3 metres and we know the height of the gate is 0 0.75 metres. So L bar is going to be the total height of water minus half of the height of the gate so 0 0.75 over 2 and that gives us a value of L bar of 2.625 metres. Okay, so now we can work out our total force. So F is going to equal density of water, which is 1000, times by gravity, times by the area of the gate, 0 0.75, times by the centroid of the gates. So this should be 0. 0.5625 times by the centroid of the gates, which is 2.625 meters, and that gives us a total force of 144.85.1 newtons. So that is our total force pushing on the gate. Next we want to work out the location at which that force is acting, but before we do that we need to work out the second moment of area. So the second moment of area of our gate is going to be B times L to the power of 3 over 12, so B is 0.75, L is 0.75, we'll put that to the power of 3 and divide it by 12. It gives us a value of I for our second moment of area of 0.026 meters to the power of 4. And then we can finally work out the location of the force as the second moment of area we've just calculated over the area of the gate 0.5625 times by the centroid of the gate 2.625 added to the centroid of the gate and that gives us a point of action of 
2.643 meters. So now we know the force, total force on the gate and its point of action. And from that information we can now start to think about what force we need to keep the gate shut. So what we can do is we can zoom in on this gate and see what's happening in there. So we've got a hinge in the middle of the gate. We've got a total force from the water, that's our force, F. And that's going to create a moment at the centre of the gate because there's a hinge there. And we'll call that distance X1. And then we've got our force P. That's trying to keep the gate shut. And that's going to act at a distance X2. So what is X1? So X1 is the distance from where our force is acting to the centre of the gate. So we can think about it and that will be the location of the force, so 2.643 metres minus the centroid of the gate, so 2.625 metres and that is going to be a point of 0 0.018 metres from the centre of the gate. So that is that distance x1 from our force of the water to the centre of the gate where we want to find our moment. x2 is the length from the base of the gate to the hinge and that's just going to be half of the gate so that's just going to be 0 0.75 over 2. So 0 0.75 375 meters. So now we have everything we need to work out what our force P is. So we know that F times X1 must be equal to P times X2. We know F, we know X1, and we know X2, so we can just rearrange this equation for P. So P is going to equal F X1 over X2. F is 14485.1 newtons. X1 is 0 0.018 meters. And X2 is 0 0.375 meters. And that gives us a total force of P to keep the gate shut of 695.3 newtons. The most important thing for these types of problems is for the information you're given, and it won't always be the same information, you need to work out what these distances are. So what L bar is, what the distance from the force to the centre is. And once you've done that you can just rearrange the problem to get the force keeping the gate shut.